the Allies and the Axis, whatever they Dr. Michael Wolf, the author of Catchers of Heaven, and a fascinating individual. And we're going to try to uh, just have a casual uh, conversation of, of two like minds trying to, to get to the facts as we can find them, even though his book is labeled fiction. I believe there's a lot of uh, nonfiction in it. And uh, Michael has, has stated the only way he was able to get a copyright is to, to label it uh, fiction. Correct. So a lot of researchers have uh, been trying to find out the, the where's and why's and who's and what's of your life, and it's uh, been very difficult. But I'll just, uh, I'm not here to defend you or to offend you. I'm only here just to have an interview with you and, and let you express you your have thoughts. more information, uh, my friend. I ever realized you had. And uh, uh, regardless of how the governments try to keep um, uh, my work secret, you have very secret, very above top secret, to, uh, to an umbra ultra level. You've penetrated some areas which have, have shocked me. Have shocked, and I, I don't shock easy after all I've seen. And uh, you really have shocked me because I did not know that you had access to, uh, to the information you have. Well, it uh, took a lot of digging, but the, uh, the I guess the first point, Michael, and a lot of people want to ask is, how did you get selected for the uh, high-level assignments that, that you uh, were involved in, which I have been able to confirm from my, my sources that you did work at Area 51 as a consultant, uh, possibly S4, S4 uh, possibly from... Uh, June of 1972 to June of 1977. I'm not asking you to shake your head yes or no uh, whether not, these I'm facts shaking, are accurate. But I'm not shaking outside. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have been able to confirm that bit of information. I know your educational yeah, background. Yeah. Your ed educational background has been hard to check out, and and that can be explained several ways. Uh, Many people have been recruited from uh, high school on up into the early years in, in college, but uh, the government does search out people with uh, high-level IQ especially, abilities. Yeah, especially when their IQ jumps dramatically in the midst of a nasty divorce in the family. So um, it's possible that they, uh, they, they've they been do sponsor me people. since I was a child because mainly of... Um, my ETI contact. That that was the first qualification. And well, then I think maybe they, they had a hand in directing some of my education. Now I've talked to your brother, and he he confirms, uh, 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 you know, regarding your your personal life and such, and in, in a UFO ET encounter you both had when you were young boys, and he stated after. The encounter, uh, you were not quite the same, and, and then you actually uh, started working on cancer research in uh, laboratories with government I scientists. I began trying to um, establish a link in the early 50s. I was born July 4th, 1941, and uh, in my book, I have been. It's been pointed out to me by several scientists with very, very high level clearances that the first retrieval was really in 1941, not 1948, regardless of what the so-called ufological uh, community says and argues within themselves. I mean, the government loves them to argue and debate because it keeps them from a frontal assault on, on the government for the truth. 
Well, you said 1948. Did you mean uh, 1947? Well, I mean as far as the... Uh, the same year I was born was the first retrieval. You know, as, as far as the United States. As in the Pacific Ocean, by, by the United States, yes. Because we've uh, I've confirmed some information that the Germans uh, in 1940, or make that uh, 1933, actually, had uh, uh, retrieved a craft, evidently, in the small uh, town. They had retrieved parts of the craft, but not uh, essentially enough to have the know-how to back engineer. Right. It was, uh, and evidently there were no beans on board. It was, it was more like a monitoring craft, from what I it understand. Was, it was a, not a surveillance vehicle. That's right. So the, actually the first crash of uh, one with uh, ET beans on board was in America, I guess. Well, oh, in the Pacific, mm -hmm. uh, in American uh, war space, so to speak, in the theater of, of the Pacific War. Now, I, I have been able to definitely get confirmation that you have at least a, a BS and a master's degree in, in some uh, high-level areas. And uh, I know the government, like with Bob Lazar, there are ways to erase your educational records, or especially if they were uh, uh, government-sponsored programs or unusual people like yourself. And uh, so it's, it's hard sometimes to back up your story. But the, the point is there's a lot of... Uh, high-profile messages you're trying to get across in your book, even though it is labeled uh, fiction. And I think a lot of the points in there, and there's, uh, if you read between the lines, there's a lot of uh, secret information, and, and definitely uh, the information on cloning and some other uh, black projects seem so to check my, out. My first um, copyright being 1993, a lot has come out that I have not predicted, but said, has already been done. I know, because I was involved in it. Now, like I was saying, I've uh, got confirmation that you, you do have a, a, a BS and a master's in biogenetic research and uh, research in electromagnetic influences on living organisms. So that's some very unusual uh, uh, degrees right there, but also that you're uh, were followed by PhDs and into dissertations, which um, had to be classified. Right. Well, that checks but out. But you uh, said, you, now, you were talking about some very specific... Well, one of the main reasons, evidently... I have never spoken of. Well, I found out one of the main reasons you were brought into the research projects was your expertise in uh, chemistry and, and botany regarding uh, checking out the... Uh, chemical analysis of, of some materials from not from around Earth. Can you uh, talk about any of that, or is that too classified? Uh, you have found out some some very startling information. Uh, as a matter of fact, before we began this interview, I was I had to have a cigarette. I was so shook up by what you told me. Uh, I. Uh, I, I'm not going to deny what you said. I think that maybe the time has come where I know some people's lives uh, 